Coming soon to a comic shop near you. Guys, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. I'm your host, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to bring you some of the newest comic books that are getting ready to hit store shelves in just a few weeks so you can get in contact with your local comic shops before it's too late. So guys, let's kick it off right now. All right, webheads. So a lot of you wanted to know where I wind up getting my list from or what website I use. And my comic shop, Comic Central, provides this list for me every single week of which books are coming out. So again, if you want to get some of these books, make sure you get in contact with your shop as soon as possible. So the book we're going to be talking about first, guys, is The Return of Something is Killing the Children, issue 21. After a year since we last saw her in Archer's Peak, Erica Slaughter resurfaces to take on the case of a girl who's seen a new kind of monster, one with terrifying implications. But Erica's broken ties with the House of Slaughter and that can have deadly consequences. The Order of St. George does not forget, nor do they forgive. Even as Erica goes on the hunt, she must keep an eye out for the mysterious figure on her tail or trail in order to survive the coming storm. Who's excited for something is killing the children returning? No more of that House of Slaughter stuff. Let's get Erica back. Here's your variance cover here, guys. Pretty gorgeous looking cover. And then look at this. That's got to be a Jenny Frizen, right? Man, oh man, that is awesome. Look at those eyes. And that's what's so attractive about Erica Slaughter. She always, you know, draws your attention with her eyes. And there you get another one with the little blood splatter on there. Really great stuff. Also, just letting you guys know on this week's um, video, there are no DC Comics listed. All right, next we have Slumber Issue 1, another book from Image Comics. Stenson is this character's name, and she is a nightmare hunter. So when I read this description, it totally sounds like something from Nightmare on Elm Street. She actually goes into people's dreams and kills the nightmares inside their head. But I think something goes horribly wrong. So I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll read it and find out. This is something that I might definitely try out. So and here's your variant cover. So if you're interested, guys, go check out Slumber and I'll let your comic shop know you want a copy. All right, here's one that people are going to want. This is Spawn uh, Scorched Issue 3. The Scorched team is still on the ground in Russia, but now they're being hunted. Last issue reminded you so much of like um, a Venom book, right? The symbiote taking over the Russian soldiers. But you're going to want this cover. Not only the main one, which is nice, but this one. Paying homage to Jim Lee's x-men book right there where we see gunslinger spawn as wolverine and you wind up seeing uh medieval spawn as cyclops i think that is awesome right there man everyone is gonna buy this cover i know that so if you want this book guys let your shop know all right next we have a book here uh this is eight dollars here and this is called i guess it's spelled s-t-r-g-r-l is it star girl but it's abbreviated i don't even know this is from behemoth it's got some nice looking covers here i think i might be passing on this one it's just something that i wasn't into all right next we have this Stillwater escape one shot so I fell off of this book just because I fell behind during the summertime with it and I wish I could finish it. Maybe I'll finish it in trade. But from far as I know, this book is actually ending. So if you want more answers to your questions, this one shot is definitely going to provide it for you. And uh, after this, that's it. It's over, guys. So yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's move on to Marvel Comics. We have Venom Lethal Protector Issue 1. So if you're not a fan of what's going on in Al Ewing's and Rom V's Venom series right now, which I'm really not, but I am holding on to it just because I want to see where it goes, you get Venom Lethal Protector back, right? You got an epic return before Carnage and Space Gods, clones and toxins, and the revelation 
that he was a father. Eddie Brock was a down on his luck reporter who had tried to take his own life and been saved by an extraterrestrial alien. This all new story set in the character's earliest days welcomes Venom co-creator David Michelini back in to the symbiote hive with open arms as he and rising star ivan forelli unite to tell a new horror horrific tale that not only revisits the wicked web slinger's past but hints at what's to come in his future so i love what marvel is doing with some of these classic nostalgia like stories with the characters if you don't like what's currently going on in the uh, current universe you can always go back to these so this is pretty cool it's got a great amount of variants here for you to choose from all right the next one is iron fist this is issue two uh so yeah iron fist we know who he is now he was the sword master and uh some people did not like that first issue i thought it was okay the story was a little off but since Danny Rand is the current or was the Iron Fist and he knew how to be Iron Fist, it's only fair that he kind of teaches our new Iron Fist how to handle the power, right? It didn't seem like that was going to happen based off of the first issue, but it's got to lead into that. So I don't know. We'll see what happens after the second issue. If I actually continue it, we have uh, what's his name? Jin Lee. Uh, I'm not sure if I said that right or if that's his right name, but he's got the sword, the uh, the sword shard stuck in his fists, so he can't use his powers quite right. So could be quite interesting. We'll see where it goes. All right, guys. So. We're getting ever so closer to the end of this Amazing Spider-Man volume. This is the Amazing Spider-Man issue 93, the big finale of Beyond. Spider-Man versus Spider-Man. You, you may surprise yourself with who you're rooting for. Don't miss the conclusion to the one of the most surprising spider stories of the past decade. Let me tell you, this story started off really slow. It felt like it wasn't going anywhere, but as soon as they introduced Queen Goblin and they changed kind of the mentality of Ben Riley, I actually have learned to enjoy this story and looking forward to the adventures of Spider-Man going forward when this new volume is released. Check out this variant cover. What is going on here, man? Is that a Gleason cover? That looks pretty intense. So really cool stuff. All right, next we have Maestro World War M, Issue 2, Battle at Pacifica. So in the first issue of Maestro World War M, you get to see the team up between Submariner and Abomination. And they're all teaming up with each other to try to stop this worldwide, this wide world domination of Maestro. So will they be successful? I don't know, man. These books have been really good. My hat's off to Peter David. Next, we have Star Wars Darth Vader. This is issue 21. A figure terrifyingly close to Vader's dark heart returns, but with a shocking new al alliance that threatens total chaos, the band of heroes who have bound themselves to Vader's cause finally learn the true nature of their new lord. And how long can Ochi of Bastoon keep his desperate secret? I have not read Star Wars Darth Vader in quite some time. Ever since Star Wars books started doing these major events and they all tied in together, I dropped them. Here's a cool little variant cover going back to the Mandalorian. That's pretty awesome right there. Love that. All right, next we have Iron Man issue 18. Iron Man finally realizes that after all is said and done, he's become worse than Korvac, and perhaps it's time for Tony to start to finally lay down his godlike powers and embrace his humanity. But if he does so, will he stand on will he stand one shred of a chance against the cosmically arranged Korvac, or will he be destroyed like the small armored bag of blood, flesh, and bones he has once again become? David faces off a Goliath in this penultimate issue of the books of Korvac. So is this the end of this run on Iron Man? God, I hope so. This has been the longest and most drawn out story ever. 
and I cannot wait for this to end. I hear that, I guess, Tony Stark is going to be checking into rehab again because he got addicted to morphine when his back got broken in the suit during this uh, this storyline. I don't know, man. Some cool looking covers here, but I will not be reading this. Now we move on to some X-Men stuff or Devil's Reign stuff. We have Devil's Reign X-Men issue three. After, so there you have it, Webheads. There are the books that are getting ready to come out in just a few weeks from now. So again, it's super important. Get in touch with your local comic shop. Put those books on your pull list. And guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. And if you love the content, guys, as always, click on it right here. Go down that Comic Book Corner 2.0 rabbit hole. And of course, guys, keep buying, keep going collecting and most importantly always read your comics guys thank you so much i'll see you real soon bye